So first thing we'll look at in terms of setup, okay? If you do, I mean, although we can't really see your posture necessarily, I would say looking at those two, if we sort of try and get them sort of the same yeah. sort of height, the one on the right, you just look a bit taller because your head's up and you're, you, yeah. look, you just look in a better position. You actually see, almost see your full face, whereas that one, head's down and fringe is covering your head there. So you're over the ball in slightly more of a hunched position, okay? okay. So that's going to restrict your body movement to start with, okay? Saying that, though, as we go back, both of these swings, fantastic position at the top of the bat. So really, really good shoulder, okay? Now, this one on the left-hand side as we start coming down, we drop, we drop, we drop. So as the club starts coming down now, we're dropping. As we come into the golf ball now, drop. you've dropped even more and your club bottoms out somewhere around there. Because right. the top of your head was up where that brick is behind you there. See where that line is along there? I see. That's where your head was. Yeah. And then when you come into impact, oh, you've dropped down a good three or four inches there. So the ground has just got nearer to you. The club bumps into the ground, okay, and as a result of that, now your arm have to try and tuck up, and you can see your left elbow now pulling into your body there, really quite close and look quite cramped up in terms okay. of the shot. There's no real movement through the ball. Compensating. Yeah, exactly. This one here now as we swing, as we come back to the golf ball, okay, if we look where your head is on that brick line there, as you come back down, it comes down a smidge in here but for the most part it's staying up nice and tall as you then swing back down keeping your height much better strike if we look at your movement through the look how much wider that swing looks yeah. as you go through look at the difference in your left arm here and your left arm just yeah. there there's a lot more width you've kind of maintained that triangle that your arms make there in the shoulders whereas here you sort of created a circle or a square there with lots of different positions there's all sort of tucking up there oh, and that triangle is the one you have at address you see so you maintain that as you go back and as you go through which is what we're trying to do and again yeah. from your point of view anyone really to maintain consistency the less moving and functioning parts we can have in the golf swing the better things are going to move that's not a, um, in question but if we can make the moves a little bit more less compensatory so we can strike the ground here with the ball and then twist through it's a much fuller movement there with the head staying down the arms popping up look where the swing gets to it doesn't even get over your left shoulder it's all very sort of tucked up and narrow here as opposed to being right the way round here in a full position so keep the head up nice and tall get yourself in a better up. posture let the arms just extend through keep that width that's a real rigidly you see. exactly we don't think how your arms kind of swing past the golf ball through impact kind of how you walk your arms side to side just nice and loose nice and relaxed and just just swinging there'll be a bit of movement on the end with your wrist but that's going to happen if i swing my arm here now nice and loose the wrist is going to hinge if i lock it this movement gets slower and short. It doesn't feel as comfortable to go so far. If I was to do that, well, that's me initiating a wrist hinge. I'm not trying to do this with my wrist. I just let the arms hang and wrist. The wrists are moving as they would do. You don't need to try and work and lock them. And this is what I think people see. People then get told, oh, you're bending your left arm. Keep your left arm yeah. straight, which is the biggest load of... Same as keep your head so down. So, so. Don't keep your head down. Don't keep your left arm straight. Allow the arms to swing through and your arms will stay a lot better, and that left arm isn't straight there. But if you try to keep your left arm straight, it eventually has to give, and it starts pulling up here. You create so much tension in your body. Head down, straight left arm is almost physically impossible to do, unless you are gymnastic flexibility, which very few people are playing golf are going to be that way, okay? You're not able to get through and twist through that way. So keep your head up nice and tall. Keep that width. Just think in your hands. And again, if you can use a mirror, and you can just practice this motion from sort of here, about there to there, just trying to keep your hands and your arms keeping that width in your body. So if we sort of measured from there how far your hands are from your chin, should we say, here they're the same distance as they're going down there, and as they swing through there, they're the same. Whereas this one, you're about there, oh, go back a bit, you're about there, and then there's good, and then afterwards, whoop, it's a really short little triangle, yeah? Mm. It'll, be, it'll tuck into the body there, okay? Head up keep the width it's, it's a position you start off with with the head up and your arms are ni nice and extended let's try and return back to a much more similar position rather than head down and the arms having to pull in okay yeah, right. simple enough yeah I, I excellent good stuff I got